good day and welcome back to my channel. Uh, kit review time, unboxing time, whatever word you want to use, except for secret time, because it's not. Uh, I have in my hot little hand, one that's been sitting on my stash pile for a little bit, and it is a 148 scale A10 Warthog, this one's by Ravel. Uh, a little bit of trivia, I grew up in, you know, just north uh, the Fairchild plant, or a Fairchild plant, where these things were put together. And, you know, it was common for me to see these things hill hopping as they would fly out of Fairchild and, and on their way to their, their duty station. Um, they'd fly in, in formations of, of twos and threes and fives, and it's really kind of cool. You'd hear them, or you wouldn't really hear them um, until, they, until they passed by you. Uh, and you know, you'd, you'd kind of just start hearing the roar as they popped up over the hill. It was kind of really interesting to see. Um, so I, I love this uh, this subject. The, the Warthog is a, it's an amazing plane. Tough. Uh, so I, I have an affinity for it. So to be done. 148 scale. Let's look around the box. Some nice pictures of the kit itself. So looks like there's some pretty good detail in there. Um, and you have some information about the A10. There's a picture of the actual model there. Uh, some details about the aircraft itself. And um, you know, these are all details about the plane, your paint callouts, your paint guide, and so forth. Again, another picture of the completed model. And on the back is your skill guide uh, for this kit, or what you know, Revel considers your skill guide. And it tells us this is a skill level, what? Skill level four. All right. So that's what's in this box, or that's what the box looks like. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. So hang on as we fall. We down to here, a little more manageable level. And let's take a look inside this box, shall we? So I'm going to pop the top off and see what we have. So uh, greeted with. A nice protective little piece here, which is kind of nice, so you, things don't get mushed. Uh, your parts are in one large, large bag. You have your instruction pamphlet, which is not small. And is that it? That is it. So I shall set this aside. And we shall take our, we'll start here with the instruction pamphlet, as I usually do. So this is in booklet form. And it has quite a few pages. It looks like we only have a few steps, so it looks like those are going to be somewhat busy. Uh, paint callouts, paint guides, um, and then your part name, which is kind of neat. So those of you who like to know what the parts actually are, and there's your water slide transfers and so forth. So if you're curious about what the part is, right, um, these will tell you. So 91's your canopy, mirror, etc. Blah blah blah. So we start with the cockpit as usual you usually start in the office so boom boom put the seat together and this is a single seat version aircraft aircraft then so you know step one so it looks like each page is one step um, so you're gonna have one you're gonna kind of have to logically look at how this is all going together uh, pilot cockpit looks like the cockpit's kind of simple uh, I know there's aftermarket but um, then you put in what looks to be the, so your gun, interestingly, right, is molded into the front of the aircraft. Uh, some of the other ones have the whole gun assembly and you get to open it up. This one does not. So you go in, you put your landing bay in, so that covers up that. And then your engines are pretty, pretty simple. You just front, back, and housing. So there's no engine detail either. This is a Ravel kit, and this is giving me a reminder of what Ravel, of what I remember Ravel to be. Uh, boom, boom, wing, top, bottom. You have another piece right here, and then you have your uh, um, air brakes. Those are actually those look to be air brakes, so you don't have flaps and so forth on this. You don't really, and I'm not even sure that you have an option for this. So I think you're going to be forced to display this with your air brakes open. Um, when you're, we move on to page three. Well, so here we go. We move on to three. And so step three, oddly, is your tail. Then step four is 
your right landing gear. Then step five and six is your left landing gear and your front gear. Um, so I'm not really sure why the uh, ordering the way this is all going. So then we put on our, our housing here, then these pieces go up underneath to the under underside where, but where the wing is, a couple of detail pieces. Then we get to step eight, which is your canopy assembly, which looks kind of nice. Um, you have your mirrors and HUD. You do have your framework for the canopy here, so you can display it up, which is nice. You have your little ladder, which is cool. Then your hard points to go under the wings. Your um, detail on how the missiles, where the missiles go, and then putting your into step in, putting the missile together. Step 11, putting more bombs together. And then you start talking about where, by step 13, you're looking at your stencil markings and where they go. Um, then you get to step 14, more stencil data. Step 15 is the camo scheme for the 10th Tactical Fighter yeah, for 1989, I guess. So that's that camo scheme. And then this is the camo scheme for, for, uh, uh, for the 335th Fighter Wing. So those your calls, and that's pretty much the instructions. So if that is an indication, it looks to be a fairly simplistic build. Here's our transfer sheet. So you know, a typical Ravel transfer sheet, a little bit thick. Um, carrier film's a little bigger than it needs to be, but it'll work. Um, you know, they, they're, they're in register, they're workable, you can read them. So this is a 148 scale kit, so it's not, doesn't have quite the detail that you would have in a 132nd, but, you know, still at 148th, it's, you can see from the size of the wing, it's not small. So, um, let's go ahead and crack into this bag here, up here. It looks like we have a bag within a bag, so we'll take a look at it. So let's start and just start pulling plastic out and see what we can do here. So the very first thing we do is we slide some stuff out. We get, um, looks like that is, they're taped together. So we'll leave them there for it. There's your clear parts and they're sealed. So let's take a look, actually get a look in here and see what they look like. So clear parts look Nice. They're a little wobble, a little bit of a wobbles in there, but um, now your front glass is nice. It's clear. It's not scratched. You got frosting where the paint will be. So you know your light marks and and your clear piece. These are your HUD part there. Yeah. Um, I have no issues. No issues with that at all. Um, I like it actually so we'll set that guy aside now let's take a look at this here um, I'm gonna go ahead and separate these these are taped together for some for a reason I'm assuming um, I'm assuming because this is sided let's see if I can get there. there we go so it's thick it's thick 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 and it's raised detail so your panel lines are raised not not recessed um, Made in China. Your ejector pins are huge, so hopefully there aren't anywhere we have to worry about them. That's a little soft, so let's take a look at the detail. The detail is it's raised, but not bad, right? So raised rivets is cool. Raised panel lines, you know, is what it is. Um, come on, stay focused, please. There we go. So I suppose that's a little disappointing, but you know, it's workable. I'm not gonna whine, it is kit, right? So your wing, again, it's all raised details. There's your open air brakes. And yeah, I don't see any options for closed. They look fine. I don't see sink marks. 
right? So as I'm looking at the surface here, I'm not seeing a lot of flash, um, but I also don't see sink marks on the wings where ejector pins were, so that's workable. Your wheel's kind of meh. Um, this wheel's kind of meh. That wheel half, I guess. It's a half a wheel. Um, it's kind of shiny. Actually, it's very shiny. So this has got some nice surface detail that's shiny. So I guess that's how we're supposed to make it look. So that's that. Slide into... And looks like that's your ordinance. So we'll look at the ordinance later. So yeah, um, your actual airframe, your aircraft itself, is um, essentially... What's the equivalent of like two sprues? Um, here it is here. Here's the other tape. There we go. There we go. So here's your other fuselage half. And a little bit of gunk, but not bad. Come on, focus, thank you. There we go. Um yeah. A little flash right there, but that's fixable. Little little wobble right there. So maybe a little bit of filling right there. And that'll be for that's for that detail right there. Yep. So that's on the other side of those, which is where your landing bay is. Your landing gear bay is. So there's your other wing. Your other tire pieces. Odd uh, that I didn't see that over there. Huh. Okay, so I guess that's one, two, yeah. And I guess that's it. Um, your engine pieces then. Okay, not bad. Intakes, okay. So in your exhaust, open. Doesn't look like it has anything to go in there. It's kind of flashy there, so that'll need to be cleaned up. So, and there's your menu bay door. So, eh. Well, pretty easy to go. Not terrible. Um, if we're looking for a display winner, you know, Hyper detailing, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, so this is the other one. I haven't seen the cockpit tub, so I'm guessing it's in here. Yep, there it is. So let's get a look at that, because that's all right. So it's detailed, but it's soft. Um, Built-in seat belts. Some. Yeah, this de the detail in here is kind of soft. So let's take a look at your instrument panel there. It's there. Those details are a little crisper. Uh, the edges on this are soft, but your details on your instrument panel are kind of crisp, so that's workable. There's your detail on your um, canopy cover, so that's also workable. Your ejection seats, there's your ejection seat sides. Again, detail, but soft-ish. Um, these things here, your, your missile mounts, I think, they're, they're a little soft. Nothing that's not workable, right? Um, there's your handle, joystick, your gun, business end of your gun, pieces there yeah, that's sort of flashy there. All your really tiny pieces are, are kind of flashy, but it's workable. So again, it's nothing outside the capability of a modeler. Um, so there's your cock, there's your cockpit, there's your pilot. Um, detail's okay. Detail will work. Uh, if you want to put a guy in there, it'll work at 148 scale. Your other detail parts, there's your landing gears. Those are nice. You've got some nice detail on it, but you do have a lot of cleanup to do. Um, you know, again, soft, really crisp detail is soft. Really crisp detail is soft. Your really fine detail is soft. There you go. That's what I meant to say. It didn't. So your armament detail is not bad. And those are your landing wheel bays. Again, not bad. So, okay. Um, so I kind of feel like I wind a bit. Uh, it's simple. So... Okay, it's a 
I, I, I'm really not sure what they mean by level four here. Um, it's a very simplistic assemble. Uh, not a lot of parts. Not not really a lot of complexity to the assembly. Your, we will see when it comes to putting it together, what the the what the details end up being like. So, you know, I'm looking at the front there. So there's your front, your gun. Okay, so your 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 cannon, which is really the thing that this whole aircraft is built around. Um, need to draw out the holes. Uh, I suspect there's going to be some some fill work there. Um, it's potential. I, you know, you don't have a lot of option. You've got so the air brakes are kind of cool, right? The the air brakes on there are neat, but you, why are you showing me a picture of a plane in flight? when I don't have an option. You know, there's your assembled version with the air brakes open, but that's all, that's the only option I got. Um, it's a Revell kit. This has reinforced my opinion of Revell. I've seen a couple of Revell kits of late that were kind of nice. This one, uh, um, you know, again, I also don't usually work in 148 scale either. Uh, I have a couple of projects that are in 148, so this one happens to be in the stash, and I figured while I was looking at them, I could look at this one too. Um, don't know if this is going to find its way actually onto the business end of the desk anytime soon, even though I love the, the subject. I really do. The, the, um, I mean, I'll be honest, I picked this kit up uh, a while ago with the intent to, to scavenge the parts from it for another reason. Uh, I never did. Uh, I never did end up doing that, so the kit stayed unopened and, and unchecked until now. Uh, but for now, that's what we have. We'll see. Um, if this is on your radar, if you're an A-10 aficionado and you like the A-10 and it's something that you're curious about, and we're curious about this kit, I mean, it is a Revell, so I don't expect the cost as much at this point. Um, this is copyright 2017, so it looks like it's it's a recently re-released um, coming out of China. But anyway, if you have this particular kit on your radar, curious about what it looks like in the box, um, there you go. Uh, if you have any questions can, or, or suggestions, please feel free to mention them in the comments below. And uh, otherwise, you know, I hope this gives you a nice look in and helps you out if you're looking to buy it. And otherwise, I will talk to you all next time and wish you happy modeling. Take care.